Hello everyone, I welcome you all in the lecture series of memory. This is lecture number 15, last lecture on retrieval memory. Earlier we discussed about the collaborative memory. Taking this topic further down the line, we will today talk about the collaborative inhibition. What does this mean? We were talking about the individual uh, memory retrieval, then we started to discuss about the collaborative group individual. Collaborative group individuals, uh, uh, sorry, collaborative uh, memory, we, when we were discussing about it, in collaborative memory, we were discussing about the group uh, uh, retrieval performance. How a group in an office or at a workplace setting is performing on the retrieval task. Now, what we have seen in this type is that when the group is performing to a task, there is a performance benefit there is a better recall, there is better recognition. However, after some time, a drop in performance is observed. A drop in performance for group uh, as a, uh, in a collaborative memory is known as collaborative inhibition, which means an inhibitory mechanism is working towards the memory processes, where, an in, where a group is not performing as they are supposed to perform. In addition to this, what we have seen, high number of wrong answers are also being reported in collaborative memory. High uh, number of wrong answers are reported, however, the individuals, they, they tend to assume and pretend that their answers are correct. The high, these high number of uh, wrong answers are known as false intrusions. In a collaborative group, uh, we have seen that the individuals are overconfident to, the, uh, to, their work, uh, to their wrong answers, which means that when they perform uh, badly, when they give a wrong answer, they are very uh, co much confident that their answers or the solution provided is uh, correct in nature. This overconfidence could be interreliability on uh, other individual, as a, and that is why. In a collaborative memory, the reliability and the dependency could be cross-checked. The collaborative group is uh, as they are overconfident to their wrong answers, what we have seen is that these collaborative groups are prone to misinformation effect also. As we discussed several occasions earlier also, when in a group and individuals are working together. Another important point here also we have to understand when we are talking about the group, it is more than two people. So we will see uh, in coming lecture that how uh, this uh, group versus dyad, which means the two uh, individuals are performing. So when we are talking about the group, the interdependency uh, of each individual in this group is actually creating such a uh, problem. So, an individual who is incapable to answer, rely on the some, uh, another person, a person who is also not engaging much or uh, having social loafing, uh, uh, depends that the other person should be answering. Th th that, that interdependency, that dependency on the other is actually leading towards this kind of problem. Problem like wrong answers and overconfidence with the wrong answers and misinformation effect. So, if we see misinformation, uh, what, what is uh, misinformation means? So, we, misinformation means is spreading incorrect as a part of uh, conforming to the group. Now, if an in the, if a collaborative uh, group is there and there is uh, the, uh, the group uh, individuals are overconfident, then you can imagine the retrieval or recollection of information could be wrong as a result the performance in a long run will be affected. And this is the reason why in some studies people have seen that after a certain period of time, the group is being uh, dismantled. The new group is being formed, the uh, new hierarchy is being brought up in the system so that a change can be seen. If the system is uh, stagnant, if the system once it is being formed, the group is being formed, then the uh, more and more inhibition over a period of time is seen and uh, more and more uh, uh, interdependency will be there and more and high 
social loafing will be there. As a result, uh, you know, the misinformation also starts to spread because of the reliability or dependency on one or two individuals present in a group. So, when the information is being spreading, incorrect information is spreading, then it affects your uh, reconsolidation processes also. As we've discussed earlier also, that reconsolidation is maintenance and update of uh, uh, new uh, old information. So, in this case, when a group is there and collaborative memory is there, then in that case, any misinformation could update the old authentic information with some faulty information. Now, reconsolidation or retrace updating theories procedure is being used just to predict this uh, aspect. But what we have seen is that once the uh, information is being mis uh, information is being added to the previous information, the reconsolidation reveals it, predicts it that there is uh, mishappening or misinformation has uh, already been occurred. The presence of wrong information during the recall may be consolidated with the original memory and that is what we were talking about it. So, as we discussed earlier, <coughs> there is a document dated on 12th January 2024. You are retrieving this document and once you are retrieving it, you are registering this document. I am in Delhi and when you are saving this document on 12th of March 2024, you have updated this information. You have updated the old document. The document which was <coughs> uh, being retrieved from 12th of January. Now, when the information which you have provided, I am in Delhi and when you were actually in, I am in Rurki currently. So, this is the authentic information. I mean, Rurki is the authentic information. So, this authentic information, I have retrieved it and I have updated it with some new information. I mean, Delhi, this is the misinformation. This misinformation, uh, addition of new information or update of the old information is nothing but it is a reconsolidation. And this reconsolidation effect is actually faulty in system because you are saving some uh, the consolidated memory or uh, you are uh, saving some uh, wrong information after the recall into the original memory. Now, what we have seen is that <coughs> um, the col collaborative inhibition is not only happening because of the mis misinformation, collaborative in uh, inhibition is not happening because of the inter individual effect, but it is also happening because of the social, uh, social loafing. Now, there are so many individuals in the present in a group. And one such individual does the social loafing. What do we mean with social loafing? So, first thing before we discuss about the social loafing, we talk about that collaborative inhibition could be of, uh, could be having two elements, social or cognitive. So, social loafing is a name to the situation uh, in which individual, individual, this individual, this individual of a group try less hard at an activity, which means do not contribute much is there, but just there uh, to do a minimal activity in a group like uh, doing only signature entire project as being governed or being addressed by these three individuals and the uh, uh, the person who was who is doing the social loafing is just doing the signature. The three individuals are putting an effort in understanding the uh, assignment implementation of the project on the ground. But the third uh, person who is doing the social loafing is just uh, seeing the report and then approving the report or just uh, clapping the hand on the successful completion of the project. So, such, such aspects is being seen quite frequently in the collaborative group, in a collaborative group. And that is why such, uh, in such collaborative group, in a collaborative memory, uh, uh, collaborative inhibition starts to happen. Uh, social loafing is not uh, could be ha uh, happening it for several reasons. If we see, then uh, it could be happening because the individual lacks uh, necessary skill and abilities. Individual lack social context. Individual comes from different social context. Uh, individual 
uh, lacks the uh, uh, mode of communication. And when we talk about the mode of communication, it could be the language itself and the language which could be uh, aiding the individual to coordinate and aid. So imagine uh, a, a group of individual, Russian uh, group of individuals are there, they are being headed by a Japanese supervisor. So there is always a communication gap, cultural gap, as a result disinterest and these things will be there. However, a person who will be doing a social loafing also this, he, he or she will be trying to keep himself or herself away from the group activity and always trying to be present in the uh, group activity, but the, their role in such uh, group activity will be least and minimal. These individuals may be expecting that the, the responsibility of the others are more on this project the stake of the others are more in this project, so they should be handling the project rather than me. When such understanding comes, then the inhibition starts to happen. Because if one individual is doing the same, then the other the individual observes it and we human being learns from observation. So then the another person starts to do and then the another person starts to do. So what we have seen, generally collaborative inhibition happens in a group. However, when an individual is performing, such inhibition does not occur. Recall improve, improves when people work alone after a group recall effort. So, recall seems to be working in an individual when they are working alone, but not in a collaborative way. Of course, uh, it is two sides of the same coin. Th this also depends on the task. If there is a task which requires four different skills and if you have four different individuals with four different skills, then the distribution of these individuals uh, and the, uh, the task distribution uh, for these individuals may uh, be helpful uh, in the recall and this recall uh, helps in the collaborative memory uh, performance, group performance. But if any of those skills or if any uh, two or three skills is being handled by any one individual, then in that case the interdependency starts to arise. Then this suggests the cognitive elements to disruption uh, goes beyond the loafing also. So uh, loafing is not, uh, so you know there are some more elements there which may play a role in uh, cognitive, uh, sorry in uh, collaborative inhibition. Only social loafing cannot be an additional parameter. What we understand with that, that there could be some more elements are there which are playing role in collaborative inhibition. These elements could be cognitive in nature. And this brings me here to discuss uh, with you the uh, nature of uh, and the types of uh, cognitive elements towards collaborative inhibition. So uh, first uh, uh, such uh, element is the retrieval strategy disruption. So you know. Um, uh, uh, disruption is happening to retrieval strategy. An individual is trying to have that uh, specific strategy. Evaluation apprehension is there, part set queuing effect and the fourth uh, type of cognitive element is the cognitive overload. So if we discuss this thing in uh, detail, let us see about the retrieval strategy disruption effect. Retrieval dis uh, strategy disruption hypothesis suggest it is possible that our own internal retrieval cues are the best for the retrieval. What does this mean? Four individuals are working and four these individuals are having different internal retrieval cues and all four of them believes that my retrieval cue is better than the other. My retrieval cue is the uh, going to provide better solution towards a problem. As a result, it brings inhibition to a collaborative memory and then in the long run we see a um, effect on the performance. And that is why in such a scenario a, a, a specific strategy is required, a hierarchy is required, a systematic approach is required, sequential analysis is required or sequential task uh, processing is required. Because if in a group every individual believes that his or her uh, retrieval uh, cue is the uh, better one, then in that case 
it becomes a challenging for the group to decide what is the optimal solution related to the uh, recall. And once, once this optimal solution uh, investigation starts, the search for this optimal investigation start, then we see that it is very challenging to select one or decide one. And this eventually leads, uh, this search eventually leads to co uh, collaborative inhibition. Now, this, this is not an, uh, no, this won't be uh, novel to us because we have seen such effect in an organizational workplace setting. And that is why, you know, uh, the group assignment, different groups are being assigned, uh, the team of four people are assigned so that the biasness should not be there. If a group of three people is uh, there or a group of five people is there, then always there is a challenge. The group of four, group of six, even number of group, you one can find a equal distribution in the uh, perspective or a thought. Now, uh, another uh, type of cognitive element is the evaluation apprehension, which talks about group members do not want to introduce the mistakes. So, when they are doing the evaluation, they try not to uh, introduce the mistakes. Everybody, everybody in a group tries not to introduce the mistake. And as a result, you know, they elect not to share much also. What does this mean? That certain individual contribution is there, but once the evaluation is happening and a mistake is being observed, in, uh, in the observation of that mistake, people try not to uh, uh, share so much because if more and more sharing is coming from their end, then there is stake in the uh, collaboration their stake in the collaborative memory performance will be higher. As a result, uh, the evaluation apprehension could be seen. The third type of uh, cognitive element uh, in collaborative inhibition is uh, part set queuing effect, which describes how people perform worse for material they have not yet recalled. So, some material when, while performing a task, sometimes the task requires uh, a response which they are unfamiliar uh, towards it. And when it is uh, uh, there, when, when uh, they have to perform it, what has been seen is that they are performing it poor in this uh, type of uh, task. This cognitive element, you know, because uh, they have not yet recalled when freely given some uh, of the answers unexpectedly to them. So, some answers are being provided to them. but they still perform bad because they are not familiar with the uh, item. So, uh, in this case also an individual, you know, we, when we are talking about a collaboration, people uh, are uh, very particular about how they have to select the answers because of working in a group, nobody wants to make, a, uh, make an error, nobody wants to be project themselves as a person, as an individual who makes a mistake. As a result, every individual in a group looks at e each other with the understanding that they uh, may get an answer from the other person. Even when the individual is knowing the answer, is still he or she is uh, reluctant to add uh, such aspects and when the option is being provided, then also they have this hesitation uh, to recall that information. So, such hesitation actually leads towards the co uh, collaborative inhibition. The another type of cognitive element other than the evaluation apprehension parts at uh, queuing effect, other type is the cognitive overload, the act of having the to coordinate the retrieval. Now, when the retrieval is happening from the individual, the point is that how to do the uh, coordination, how this coordination may be helpful, you know, in that uh, regard. So, such um, uh, coordination coordination among the retrieval, coordination of retrieval is a challenging task and is a tricky task also. I mean, it is not that simple. And what we have seen is that thing is there, people face a lot of difficulty in uh, such uh, coordination, oh, what has to be there. And this is, uh, this coordination of retrieval is actually leading to uh, cognitive overload. 
Now, one thing uh, we which we have not addressed here in all these uh, cognitive element, when we are discussing about the cognitive overload or part uh, set queuing effect uh, um, uh, and the retrieval uh, strategy uh, disruption and the evaluation apprehension, they also depend upon the social factor, uh, emotional factor, motivational factor as well. So, uh, these uh, parameters one cannot uh, rule out. The point of discussion here is that uh, when there is a collaborative memory, collaborative memory performance is good, but the recall is facing a challenge, then there are uh, social or cognitive elements. This social and cognitive elements are creating a inhibition. As a researcher or as a uh, memory scientist, we have to ensure how can we reduce this co collaborative inhibition. If we can re reduce the collaborative inhibition, then the collaborative memory performance will, be, will get better and better in these individuals. So, collaborative memory situation, work teams are expected to make presentation together. So, how uh, we can do that? So, we ask for a group uh, presentation. So, all the four people are coming and together and we ask them to perform uh, together. Now, when such presentation is there, uh, earlier we were discussing about it, uh, the their uh, skill could be different S1, S2, S3, S4. Based on the skill distribution, based on the skill ability, you can uh, give them a different task and as a result, their collaborative uh, performance will be better in this regard because they will be just uh, providing the aid uh, based on their uh, uh, skill and ability. Collaborative inhibition make her more than uh, more with some tasks than the others. What we have seen that uh, collaborative inhibition is not same uh, uh, on all the tasks uh, uh, and it could uh, it cannot be same um, for one task in different in the same uh, in the different context also. So, as a context will change, collaborative inhibition uh, will also change and collaborative inhibition can never be same for different types of task. So, it varies and it varies because of social and cognitive elements which we earlier discussed and it, along with social and cognitive element, emotional, motivational, affect component could also be playing a role. In addition to this, the biological elements could also be part of it. So, let us say a group of four individuals is there and one individual is having uh, mental health pro issues. As a result, it will be affected as well. So, in order to reduce this collaborative inhibition, we have to ensure that all the four individuals should be healthy and fine. Inhibition seems to happen with groups of uh, three more than uh, the pairs or a diet. So, what uh, th th does this mean is that this is a group of four people. So, inhibition is seen in group of four, group of three, group of six, group of five. In these groups we have seen more than the group of two or dyads or, or, or other pairs. So, this way uh, you know it is easier uh, to control the uh, uh, collaborative inhibition. What we have even seen is that collaborative group perform better with a queued recall task. So, if the queue is provided, then they perform better in this uh, recall task. So, group actually the individuals are uh, more in number, the chances of responding uh, or performing uh, performance will get better and better. So, what have we studied in this uh, section of this uh, topic? Uh, collaborative inhibition uh, is an important element and what we have seen is uh, because of some cognitive and social element, inhibition is seems to happen in the collaborative memory performance in an individual. And because uh, the uh, performance is being uh, performed in a group by the group, so uh, some cognitive and social elements are there. Uh, in social elements, we talked about the social loafing. And in uh, cognitive element, we talked about the retrieval strategy description, evaluation apprehension, part set queuing effect and cognitive overload. These uh, cognitive elements uh, are playing crucial role in the collaborative inhibition.
So, if an individual tries to address the social loafing along with co uh, cognitive elements, then uh, collaborative inhibition can be rectified. So, how uh, an individual can rectify this collaborative inhibition? It could be uh, in by addressing these parameters. So, here I will stop the lecture on uh, retrieval memory. In the next lecture, we will start with working memory, the new topic, the new topic for this NPTEL course on memory. Thank you.